we will be installing docker on our windows machine and we'll to do that we'll just quickly head to the documentation which is docs.docker.com and a simple google search could could land you here just search for how to install docker on windows and i'll anyways link it in the description below so uh, we first check the system requirements and it says that uh, this is the documentation for Windows 10 Pro, but for the home version, this is the documentation. So how do we check our Windows version? We just press the Windows key and R and then we type in the run dialog W-I-N-V-E-R and we press enter. So what I see as a result of this is uh, uh, about Windows dialog where I have my Windows version, version 2004, OS build is so and so version number. And um, I see that my Windows is Windows 10 home version. So uh, those of you who have this um, pro or enterprise version of Windows, you can just uh, uh, follow this uh, very simple documentation. Most of the steps uh, will be the same, but for the home version, there are a couple of extra steps that we need to perform. So let's head to the documentation of the home version and first thing we'll do is we'll click on this button and download the docker binary and so yeah we land to docker hub and I click on get docker and I get the executable file but I'll cancel it here because I already have it downloaded and I don't want to waste 400 MBs of data again um, and if I head to my downloads directory I have the docker desktop installer and we will get back to it a little later so we see that for this installation we had a version high we our windows version was higher than 2004 uh, but we need to enable the WSL2 feature on windows so WSL2 stands for windows subsystem for Linux and if you don't have it um, enabled as of now or don't know how to do it you can just go to the Microsoft documentation and follow along it's fairly easy and if you still want more support I have a couple of videos where I was experimenting with WSL2 and how to install it on my local machine so you can either click the I button above or you can find the link in the description below so bottom line is that I already have WSL2 I have uh, this processor and this much RAM the only thing that I need to check further is that BIOS level hardware virtualization support is enabled. So for that I right click on my task, uh, task bar and just click on task manager. This is my task manager window and I need to click on performance and yes exactly here I can see that virtualization is enabled. So um, if virtualization is not enabled, you may have to go into the BIOS settings and enable virtualization. I'll link uh, a blog in the description below as to how you can enable virtualization. Now we can just simply go to our downloads directory and double click on the installer and it will help us install Docker in our local machine. And the process is fairly easy from here and oh it even does the WSL2 installation for you well that is pretty cool I will add this shortcut to desktop and uh, so since I already have it let me not interfere with it okay so installation is done and we see the docker desktop shortcut here and it asks us to close and log out so we'll be logging out of windows and logging back again and see what happens and after logging back in we can just quickly double click on docker desktop and it will start the docker daemon for us so let's see what happens docker is starting we can click on the hidden icons and see that docker is in fact starting and it may take a couple of minutes to get started and docker is running over open partial and start hacking with docker or compost okay so let's just click on this and see what happens 
okay so we have no containers running try a container copy and paste this command into your terminal and come back so let's see what happens if we do that so if i start a terminal and i paste this command right here let us see what will happen so yeah so it does not find this image here and it is put pulling this image from the docker repository and let's see what this image does image has been downloaded and i allow access and okay so this image is running on port number 80 so i'm not sure if ubuntu also has as a beautiful ui for docker but this one looks really cool and then we have this option to open it up in the browser and okay we get the docker tutorial right here i think so this is really cool so they have shipped their documentation um, as a part of um, you know their product this is really nice and we can connect to the cli somehow we can stop the container we can restart it and we can also delete it so that's just how docker can be easily installed on windows so i think so i'll stop here for this time if you like this video do hit the like button below and if you like the content of my channel and if you find it helpful do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new content thanks a lot